Hello, welcome back guys. I am here, back after a short absence from YouTube. But, you, as you guys know, the Super Bowl is coming up this Sunday. It will be the Ravens taking on the 49ers. And this is going to be one of the more exciting Super Bowls in recent years, as we see bald Colin Kaepernick here. But, anyway, it's going to be John Harbaugh versus Jim Harbaugh. They're both brothers. They're coaching each team. And that's going to be real interesting. That's the first time that's ever happened in NFL history. So, that's, that's exciting in itself. And we have Colin Kaepernick, rookie quarterback. No, excuse me, not rookie, but inexperienced first-year quarterback. Um, out of Nevada, and that, it, it's, it really surprised me that he's gotten to the Super Bowl, just his second year in the NFL, but he has a solid team, he has a solid team, and he's, he's just a, an exciting player to watch, he's a dual threat quarterback, he can run, he can throw, he can make all the plays, and, and then we have Ray Lewis, his last year in the NFL, isn't that a story, his last year in the NFL, he's going to a Super Bowl, just like the way John Elway left this company. And like many others, he hopes to win his second Super Bowl, I believe. And that's pretty much what's what's the word on the street right now. But this, this video is just going to be a pre, uh, simulation or preview of the Super Bowl. I'm just going to be commentating. Probably not a lot of play-by-play -play here, but I'll just be talking about the Super Bowl and all. Maybe a few play-by-play. -play. What each team has to look for. What's the, what's going to be the factors for each team and such. Yeah, uh, Jacoby Jones um, from Baltimore. He's going to be a huge key on special teams for Baltimore. He's going to need to return some punts and kicks. He's going to have to set them up in good field position. Mostly through the game. And But the main key for Baltimore... They need to get Ray Rice the ball. He's he's the center of their offense. He is their playmaker. He can he can catch the ball out of the backfield, and he he's a he's built low to the ground, so he can just rumble right through the defense. He needs to have a strong strong game in order for Baltimore to win this game. And Joe Flacco, the QB of the Ravens, he needs to have a he's been stellar throughout the playoffs so far. He needs to continue that. He's thrown eight touchdowns, zero interceptions so far. In his last six games, I think he has 11 touchdowns and only one pick. So he's been heavily improved. And here we go. Do you see that deep pass? He just throws a, he just wings it up there, and Jacoby Jones is there for the touchdown. But um, back to what I was saying. Joe Flacco has been has been dominant. That's what many thought of him. He is proving himself to be elite in the NFL. And he will need to be, as I said before, he will need to be successful in order for the Ravens to win. Just like Ray Rice. There are a lot of pieces you have to fit into place for each team if you want a, want a perfect game out of them. Ray Lewis needs to bring his energy out. He, that's... I hate to say it, but it's, that's probably why they're in the Super Bowl. That's probably the only reason why they're in the Super Bowl. Ray Lewis brings a different element to the game. He brings the energy. He brings the excitement. It brings the excitement, and he's the one that enth enthusiasm is the Ravens. He's the one that inspires them. They're playing for Ray right now. It's his last year, and they want to prove to them that they are a football team, and they're going to win the Super Bowl. Now, let's get to the 49ers key factors of this game. Definitely Colin Kaepernick, as you see, he runs this, the read option. He fumbles, but I think the read option is going to be it's going to be tough for them to run against this Baltimore D. If you remember last week, Kaepernick against the 40 no, Kaepernick on the 49ers against the Falcons, they weren't able to run the read option at all, really. I think he had like one carry, and he lost two yards on the play. So I don't think the read option is going to be a factor at all, really. Unless the Ravens don't even make a plan for it, but that would just be stupid at this point in time. 
but there will, Frank Gore needs to have a good day on the ground, both running backs need to support the offense. If you don't have a running game, you can't have a passing game. It's simple as that. Um, Vernon Davis has been very good of late. He, he is... Every, uh, excuse me. It was all on ESPN and all the sports articles and stuff that Vernon Davis wasn't getting much attention as of when Kaepernick started. But I think... Like the last couple games I've watched with the Niners, he's been like his almost his second, his favorite or second favorite target behind Michael Crabtree maybe. But he he's he's a special player. He's a very rare tight end. He's got he's got really good speed, and he still has the size. So that's why he's the one of the better tight ends in the NFL. He's going to be a factor for sure. I believe they're going to implement him in the offense. Who else here? We have Michael Crabtree, leading receiver and favorite target of Colin Kaepernick since he took over for Alex Smith. He's he's going to need to play up to his potential. He can't let the sex abuse scandal or charge bother him. He can't have his mind on that. He has to have his mind on the Super Bowl here. All, every, plus... I forgot to mention this with the Ravens. Ray Lewis can't be thinking about the PED, performance enhancing drugs, uh, accusation. I don't think he will. And I don't think he did use PEDs, but you never know. Lance Armstrong, we just heard a couple weeks ago, admit to them, to doping. But I, Ray Lewis is different. I, I just don't think he would ever do that. But I could be wrong. He's had legal troubles in the past past, but you never know. But he can't let that hit home. He can't let that stay in his mind during this game. Too critical. It's his last season. Just give it your all. Just have your mind on the game. It's simple as that. Play by play here. There's not much else to say about the Super Bowl. I'm looking forward to commercials, too. Of course, I'm a football fan. Most people watch the Super Bowl, honestly, probably for the commercials. Um, but last year's were horrible. I have to admit, those were not good last year. Hopefully they can make them better. Like, usually when a football game uh, is on, the commercials, you're like, oh, crap, here comes the commercials. And you just want to see the game. You just want to watch the game. But during the Super Bowl, it's a whole other story. Commercial hours, commercials are as exciting and funny as the game. Um, so hopefully this year they can do a little better job on that. Commercials cost so much for the Super Bowl, so they better be worth it. Some, I think, are like, just for like 30 seconds, it's like millions of dollars just to air it. So, yeah. Franco runs up the middle for two yards. We're going to see how Madden thinks the Super Bowl will play out. One thing I don't, didn't like is I, I was going to try to put it in the Super Bowl environment situation, but then I'd have to play it some a team, and that's not fair, you know? I mean, I could have played online or something like that, but that's not going to happen. I want a real simulation, real fair matchup, and that's what this is. And it's at Candlestick Park, which gives the 49ers the advantage, which... But they are down, so... That's that's just how it's going to be. It's just going to be a normal match. No, normal game here. But you still get the point. It's a simulation. Man, Man 13 will decide who they think the Super Bowl winner will be. So far, it looks like the Ravens are on top 10 nothing with the ball at the 20. Ray Rice charges up the middle for 6 yards. Um, future projects. Future projects. Um, I'm probably... I'm thinking of a concept, or I'm thinking of this idea of rookie battles. Rookie quarterback battles. I'm going to probably upload a couple games just 
I'm going to upload probably one. Uh, Washington Redskins versus Indianapolis Colts. RG3 taking on Andrew Luck. Or maybe I won't do a game. Maybe I'll do a practice session and Andrew Luck will be competing against RG3 with stats. I don't know. You guys can um, comment or suggest anything you want. But I am going to toy with that idea for a little bit. Think of the best option. Um, yeah, you'll see, you'll see, um, I'm not, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use every, like, the main rookies, like, or, if, or if I'm just going to use the quarterbacks. I'm not, probably just the quarterbacks, I'm thinking, but I could always use running backs and wide receivers as well. If you guys want anything you want, I'll probably do, as long as it's not crazy. And you know what I mean by that. Like, we'll probably have Robert Griffin III, Andrew Luck, obviously, those two. Russell Wilson, definitely. Ryan Tannehill. Um, who are the other rookie quarterbacks? I don't know. I'll think of it, but those are the main four, I think. But maybe Nick Foles. Put him in there. But anyway... That is probably what's going to be in the future. I kind of got myself in this kind of weird predicament here. I have a lot of things going on at once. I probably should have organized this better, but I have my Seattle Seahawks connected careers. I have my WWE 13 universe. I have a lot of stuff going on at once. I'm trying to get a lot of genres of games and stuff here, but sometimes it's kind of weird because I haven't... My universe mode was uploaded I think two weeks ago I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to upload one like every week that's kind of what I was thinking when I started it but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen in my connected careers I was also going for once a week but that one that one seems okay right now but I don't think I will be able to do that and of course uh, we have we have other stuff. I have other stuff planned ahead um, with more subscribers and stuff if I eventually get up there, but as for right now, it's going to be mostly Man 13 and WWE 13 Plus. Um, I'm going to start um, playing NBA 2K13, pr NBA 2K13 pretty soon. That is going to be fun. I'm going to probably do an association mode with a team just like men. Madden with the Connected Careers mode. It's going to be kind of like that. Maybe implement some trades, free agents, and such. And eventually, I am going to do some online matches just on the PlayStation Network. Like men, men games, and uh, WWE 13 matches, possibly. Um maybe NBA, but I am, I have to be honest with you, I am, I'm familiar with NBA, but I haven't played, I'm not as big of a fan as I am of men, or, um, WWE 13, I haven't played an NBA 2K 13 or 12 video game, uh, I haven't played the game in a while. So it might take a little while to adjust for me to adjust to that. Just be prepared for that. Um, is there anything else to talk about here? Of course there is, but um, uh, not really at the moment. I'm just gonna do some play-by-play -play here. Here's the punt. Let's see this punt here. See, it's it's hard. It's hard to commentate for 40 three minutes on a video on one topic. You have to have several topics, so I can talk about WWE, WWE right now, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to stick on the Super Bowl topic. Um, so, it's the 49ers and the Ravens. Everybody knows that. Nobody, I mean, the 49ers are favored by three or four, I think. Um, but the Ravens have been destroying their opponents. They beat the Patriots, 
they beat um, Denver and 49ers beat Atlanta tough team but really if you beat the Bronco if you beat Peyton Manning and Tom Brady then you know you've got something there I mean Matt Ryan sure he's like he's he's a great quarterback don't don't doubt that but it's the Falcons have had playoff troubles for years they they just won their first um, playoff game with Matt Ryan Tony Gonzalez just won his first playoff game with the Falcons and Colin Kaepernick is so inexperienced I mean he is mature for this age of a quarterback but there's always that factor he's been he's he's had some he's had some playoff games he, he's had two playoff games but the Super Bowl is a whole nother thing it's in a dome last week he played in the dome had some hearing problems that sometimes hearing his coaches and this week it's gonna uh, this week it's gonna be New Orleans Dome uh, Superdome and that's gonna cause some hearing problems as well both quarterbacks have that but I think Joe Flacco is better suited for that adversity he's been in the league a lot longer and Kaepernick if you remember last time when he was in the Dome against New Orleans he had some trouble, got a couple delay of games against the Saints. So just keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, just keep an eye out for that. Uh, that could turn into a big factor in that game. Uh, you may ask, who do I want to win? Uh, I would. I'm I'm probably rooting for the 49ers in this one. I know it's Ray Lewis's last year. Baltimore Ravens, are the underdogs, and I do like I do like Baltimore, but I I think I'm gonna have to go with the 49ers on this one. I like the youngster Colin Kaepernick, and I think he's gonna be a star in the NFL in years to come. And um. 49ers, you know, it, it doesn't really matter to me who wins. Neither of these teams are my favorite teams or my least favorite teams. Like if it was the Patriots in here, um, if it was the Patriots in here, I'd want whatever team was going against them to win. So it's not a big deal to me, but I'd prefer for the 49ers to take the win on this one. Um... Kobe Jones taken down at the 15. Um, you guys can suggest any games for me to play. Um, really, anything except COD. I really never got. I never got into those games. I never got into um, any shooting games. Really, um, I've always been a sports kind of guy. With the exception of wrestling, WWE 13, I guess you could call it a sport, but that's really the only fighting game besides UFC as well that I actually have and play, but, um, you know, it is, it is fun to, um, sometimes get away from the sports and try something else, um, yeah, I, I have a PS2 as well as a PS3, and, um, Sometimes it's nice to just get back and play those games, like um, War of the Monsters. That's a classic. You can download it and download that on the PS3 too. I'm thinking about that. But you know, it's it's nice to go back and play the the old games. You have memories about that and so forth. But yeah, I'm mainly a sports kind of guy, so. If you want to request pretty much any sports game, MLB, um, All Pro, NFL, or whatever, just just comment. I'm I'm not I won't I don't bite. So yeah, that's my opinion on all this stuff we have going on. Oh yeah, and last week we had the Pro Bowl. Now I know. This this year is the year to decide whether or not we're gonna have it next year, 
or we're gonna just go down a different path and maybe um, do some like mini games or stuffing mini games and stuff like competing with uh, the best QBs in the league competing best running backs competing and uh, best wide receivers competing etc I think that's the better option really it's, just look just look around in every other league NBA yes they do have an all-star game both both um, MLB and the NBA have all-star games now the NFL is a Pro Bowl yes but you know the NFL has nothing to go along with that no other um little games or just like side things but you see the NBA they have the slam dunk contest the three point comp competition um the celebrity game they have a whole week dedicated to other activities and look at the NFL they just have one game pro bowl and that no really nobody watches really I looked at a couple polls on ESPN, and most people want to get rid of the Pro Bowl, and I understand that fully, mainly because obviously the players aren't going 100%. If they were, I mean, it's the score was 62 to like 35, you'd think, oh wow, they must be playing hard, but sometimes that's not the case, because look at the defense, that's horrible, allowing 62 points in a game, that would never... That, rarely happens in the NFL. I think the highest total this year was 55 by Baltimore over Arizona. That was that was just manhandle. Manhandling at its best. But, like, and you look at the MLB, you have the Home Run Derby. You have other activities with, the, like, the Legends, the Hall of Famers. You have the Hall of Fame game, I think. It's just different. The NFL should have in place like, I think it was a good idea. I heard this idea. I already said it. That they have mini games. Like competing. Like just say Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Go one on one in a accuracy competition. I'd, I'd be more interested in that. Than uh, watching a Pro Bowl. Just like. If we saw Kelvin Johnson. Uh, versus. Brandon Marshall in a deep catch ca deep catching deep ball catching competition or something Adrian Peterson versus uh, Marshawn Lynch in a rushing competition breaking tackles competition that, that I think that would be really smart um, by the NFL if they eventually decided to do that I would be all in for it I think that would be awesome And that's my take on that. Um, should I get back to the Super Bowl? Probably should. That's what this video could, video is dedicated to. Okay, let's see. Colin Kaepernick takes over for Alex Smith, right? So where does Alex Smith go next season? I I I hope he goes to the Bills. Um, if you don't already know, the Bills are my favorite football team, even though I haven't used them once in men uh, thus far. They are my favorite team. I live in New York. I live close to Buffalo. And they have been my favorite team my whole life. My parents are Bills fans. My whole family's Bills fans, pretty much. And I hope that the Bills go after Alex Smith and free agency, because this rookie draft class is horrible. They are not. Last year was the year of the, the quarterback in the NFL draft. Um, you had Andrew Luck, Robert Griffin III. So many good quarterbacks in that draft class. Um, you had Kirk Cousins. The Redskins drafted two quarterbacks, and both of them had success. That's how good the draft class was. Robert Griffin went down with uh, the concussion or the knee injury. I don't remember which one. Probably both, and the Kirk Cousins steps in and wins like two games, both games. He was, he was superb in that one, in those games. I wish Buffalo could draft a quarterback of that caliber. And um, so yeah, I hope they go after Alex Smith, the 49ers. He is not going to stay in San Francisco. I will bet you on that one. I just hope he doesn't go to the Jets or. 
Yeah, I just hope he doesn't go to the Jets, pretty much. I mean, we, the Bills have got, uh, picked up Doug Marone as their head coach. They, they re-established the whole front line of coaches, everything from, from the bottom up. They changed a lot, but a lot of uh, coaches are familiar with each other, so that is good. And the rookie quarterback class, even though there is Ryan Ness about a Syracuse that relates to the coaches and says he loves Buffalo, Buffalo weather, they're so inconsistent that it's it's very risky to go after any of them with a first round draft pick. So Alex Smith, think about Buffalo, think about coming there and playing. And that's all I have to say. Um, so far, this this simulation has been pretty good. It's ten ten, halfway through the third, and. Baltimore has it, but they were up to nothing, and now uh, San Francisco has came back to tie it at 10, and oh, San Francisco, the last two playoff games, I think have come from behind, especially last week at Atlanta, they came back from a big deficit to win that ball game, almost like Seattle at Atlanta, but they weren't able, weren't able to cap that one off. Um, the 49ers have probably the best middle line, not middle line, they have the best linebacking, linebacker core, I can't talk today, in the NFL. Uh, they have Navarro Bowman, Patrick Willis, two of the best in the league, and, and that's, that's just... That just makes your defense so much better when you have your signal caller being like the best player in the National Football League. Man, does that make a difference. But, but, San Francisco's defense has been off. Off its game a little bit in the past couple weeks. Kind of rebounded at the end of last game, but um, previous before Previously, before that happened, they were they were struggling a bit. I saw it. I saw them struggling. They were allowing points on the board. Um, they weren't giving Kaepernick enough chances to do what he does best on on offense. They were on the field for a while. They were probably getting tired. And um, I but they did rebound. So hopefully. All I hope for in a Super Bowl is a close game, close hard-fought game by both teams. If it's a blowout, even if you want the team to win, it's still not... I mean, wouldn't you rather have a close game uh, than... Unless it's your favorite team, of course, but... I'd, I think most people... I think I can say this on behalf of most people that I'd rather see a close Super Bowl game than a blowout or a shutout. That would be... I, I just think that would be horrible. So, yeah. Obviously, a closer game is a better game here. That's what we have in the simulation. That's what Madden 13 thinks. 10-10. Probably won't be that, but, you know, it's fun to do simulations like this. I'm probably going to continue to do to do these in the future with all types of games. Um, halftime show, we have Beyonce performing. Hopefully she does better than the Black Eyed Peas did last year. That was just horrible. Wait, were the Black Eyed Peas last year? I think they were. I'm not sure, though. But hopefully Beyonce does better this year than the Black Eyed Peas did either the year before or last year. Because that was just hard to watch. Ravens are in, in the red zone. They're threatening inside the five-yard line. I think they're at the two, I believe. No, they're at the three, but whatever. Um... 
Yeah, so I think I've covered almost everything surrounding the Super Bowl. But, um, you know, it's it's going to be a fun game. To, to sum it all up, it's going to be an exciting football game. It has more surrounding it than a Super Bowl has like ever had in the past decade. I mean, you do have these two teams you would never ex if you if you looked at the beginning of the season or e any point in the regular season, you would never expect the Ravens and the 49ers to be here. The beginning of the season the 49ers were definitely a contender, but if you if you heard beforehand that they switched quarterbacks mid-year from a like seven-time starter to a first-year quarterback has like one game under his belt what do you think they'd make the Super Bowl no anybody in the right mind would say no but also you have to go from the point of view of the Ravens they let go offensive coordinator Cam Cameron and they brought in Jim Caldwell um, entering the postseason, and look what he's done. He's brought them to the Super Bowl. So it looks like John Harbaugh was right in that mind, and Jim Harbaugh was right in bringing in Kaepernick. Um, which one was the bigger risk? I'm not sure. You can't really... Some may think the quarterback is the bigger risk. Some may think the offensive coordinator is. I am not sure. Both are huge risks can't take that away from either one. Uh, offensive coordinator, he calls all the plays, he calls all the shots, he designs the packages and such. That's that's huge. That is really important for an offense, obviously. But the quarterback makes the throws. So they both go hand in hand, kind of. And it's I just don't know. I saw it on ESPN. Most people said the offensive coordinator was the... Uh, main the biggest risk but you know I, I have I think both you, I, would you rather cut your offensive coordinator or bring in pretty much a rookie quarterback I can't say at this point Alex Smith came off a concussion and he had the best rating in the NFL it's not like he was doing okay and then you bring in an okay quarterback no he had the best rating in the NFL he had the best QBR in the NFL and he gets a concussion, comes back early, after only missing a week. And they put in Kaepernick. They put in the freshman Kaepernick. And he, he does so well that they have to keep him in the rest of the season. And they are going to... I think he's their franchise quarterback. And it's weird how things go down, but I guess it was meant to be for Kaepernick. We saw this last year with Smith. Um... In the off season, Smith was going to be, he, he was going to uh, lock up a contract for, um, with the 49ers for um, a couple, he was going to extend his contract, but the 49ers were interested in Peyton Manning, so they, they, they kind of went after Manning, and that irked Smith, so he, he did, he was, he played the game too, he went and talked to the Dolphins, but in the end, when the 49ers uh, weren't able to sign Peyton Manning, he went back and signed with the 49ers. He inked the deal. It's interesting how much you can talk about around surrounding one game, one Super Bowl game. It seems like this NFL year has gone by so fast. I remember when I was so excited for the first week of the NFL. And now it's the last. So, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. But here we go, two-minute warning in the fourth. The game is 13-10, to 10, Baltimore. Look at John Harbaugh. He looks a little fat there. He looks heavy. Rex Ryan style. Um, but yeah, it's the last week in the NFL. And um, it's it's been a good year. It never seems to disappoint. NFL will always be. And I hope it will last. Um, 
At least until I die. I love the game of football. I love the NFL. With these new regulations and all, all they're finding out about the game. It causes head damage, causes a uh, brain injury, traumatic uh, brain injury. Yeah, I get, I get all that, but sooner or later, you just have to let them play by will. Like if they want to play, it's not like anyone's forcing them to play. That's their job. They go out there and play. They, they suffer the consequences if they want to play. And if you cancel the game, then then I guess that's what we'll have to come to. But fourth quarter, and it is 13-10. 49ers are trying to hurry it up here. I'll do play-by-play -play for the last minute of the game. Why not? Minute and a half to go. Kaepernick's got it at the 47. He slings it over the middle, but it's incomplete. Second and 10 now. They don't got, they don't have uh, Kaepernick's tattoos on this. He's he's got some criticism for that. I don't like it at all. It's just tattoos. I mean, come on, guys. But anyway, they're at the 47. Kaepernick takes it from from center. Throws it for five yards, I think. Yep, five yards. And they call a quick timeout. There's Jim Harbaugh on the sideline. This timeout is taking a while here. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up, guys. They have a large play, co play clock, though. 30 seconds. They're in the huddle. Still at the 40... No, now they're at the 42. Third and five, though. This is key. Akers has been struggling. He said this year... I forgot what he said. He had a quote. He said this year has been uh, something. He said this year has been foggy or something. Something like that. It's weird. He He's usually one of the most dependable kickers in the NFL. And this year he's missed like 15 or some odd field goals. <laughs> it's, just, it's just weird but they are in good field position now at the 21 they could win or tie this game send it in the overtime Kaepernick on the run he's scrambling and he's in for the touchdown 49ers will we see this in Super Bowl will we see this in the Super Bowl I think we will you have to see Ka Kaepernick run he's not going to be a pocket passer all game long He's got the speed, and he's able to avoid and elude defenders. He is faster than most linebackers. Some safeties, maybe. And that kick is up and good. 17-13. It looks like the 49ers will take this one. But with 11, with 1-11 on the clock, you never know. The Falcons had 30, 20-something 20, 20 seconds, and they came back and got a field goal, so. But the ball is on the ground. And the Fel... The Ravens. The Ravens. The Ravens pick it up. I got too much on my mind, guys. Too many names. Too many words. You know. You know how it goes around here. For some reason, they're running the ball here. They give to Rice for three. Flacco drops back. He's looking way down the field. He's got the arm, but it's broken up by the safety. I think it was Carlos Rogers covering Anquan Bolden. Third and seven now from the 27-yard line. Baltimore at the 27. I just said that. For some reason, I repeated it. Out of the shotgun. He's got Rice in the backfield. Perfect amount of time. That was a weird catch. Almost looked like he landed out of bounds. Let's see that. He jumps up. He is. Yeah, that, I think that was. I think he was going out on that one. But I can't challenge. 
they can't challenge. It's only the booth, booth and the refs now decision if they want to challenge and they won't. We run to Rice. He gets four. For some reason, they're running it, and now they won't use a timeout. They're going to hurry up. They have three timeouts and 30 seconds on the clock. They're not going to call timeout. Coaching decisions are weird today. He wings it down the field. Does he got a man? No, it's picked off by Brown. Terrell Brown. One interception, one tackle. And that will close out the game. I think they'll just have to kneel it here. Or keep it on the ground. And he is stuffed. But that doesn't matter. They're just trying to run out the clock here. And for some reason, he is taunting. He t makes a tackle, but they're going to lose the game. And he's like the happiest guy in the world. Second and ten. Ravens have two timeouts now. Here we go, we're back. Second and ten. From the eighteen yard line. He pitches it to Gore. Can't. He can't break free from the tackle, and they will have to use their second timeout. Baltimore will. And look at that scene. All the Ravens' sidelines are just emotionless. No smiles. No laughs. It's just all sadness there. Will this be the sight? We will see. Sunday night at 10 or 11 or 12 whenever this game comes to a close actually for some people that's just for me in the we're in the eastern part of the US but if you're in the western part of the, the game starts at 3 for you guys so that could be a different story but look at 14 seconds left on the clock it looks like the 49ers are going to take this one 17 to 13 here um, 17-13. Low scoring game, kind of. But a close game. And that is what I hoped for. I hoped for a close game in this one. I hope this is kind of right. I hope that we have a little bit of a higher scoring game. A little bit more of an exciting game. There's not many big plays in men, usually. But, um, especially when you're not in the team, when you're watching a simulation. But hopefully it is a, a close game. The la last couple Super Bowls have been extremely f fun and exciting to watch. Um, they were all close. And hopefully this one will be too. I've said it a lot. And I think this will be it. The game is over. 17-13. This simulation is drawn to a close. 49ers take this one. And... Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good Super Bowl Sunday. And that's it.